The Brewers, the Reds, the Astros, Twins, and Angels are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five stacks for today. It is Sunday, August 13th. We're talking DraftKings right after this. Sign up at Stochastic. 50% off for the MLB package. You can see it on the screen right now. MLB Premium. Going to be less than 10 bucks. It will get you projections, ownership, top stacks, top pitchers, top batters, our lineup generator, and our premium Discord. You'll come in and check all of that out for less than $10. You cannot beat that deal, folks. Click the link in the description. Promo code is SCORE. First up at number five, we are going to the Blue Jays. 9% chance at top stack, 4% chance at top value, taking on Jamison Tyon and the Cubs. 4.7 run implied total here for Toronto. It's just a general spot where a lot of power is on the table for Toronto. Tyon can give it up from time to time. 9% optimal Whit Merrifield is your top Blue Jay, oddly enough. Vlad Guerrero certainly looks good. Unfortunately, you can only play Belt and Guerrero. You can't play them in the same lineup. That's the only limiting factor here for Toronto. In at number four, we're going to the Cubs. Same exact data as the Blue Jays. 9% chance at top stack, 4% chance at top value, a 4.4 run implied total here against Ryu. And he's been back for a couple starts now. Christopher Morel is very clearly the guy you want the most here. He's got the third base outfield MPE projected to hit in the leadoff spot, 12% optimal. But with the lefty on the hill, you're getting what looks like eight righties right now. That stands out to me. Candelario and Wisdom both have MPEs. They're both first third, but at least you do get some added flexibility. Cubbies are in a decent spot. We go to the Nationals at number three, taking on Ken Waldachuk and the A's. 8% chance at top stack, 11% chance at top value. These guys are ultra, ultra cheap. Lane Thomas at 4,800, the most expensive Nat. A lot of these guys in the 2Ks. 5.2 run implied total here. You don't normally like getting to Washington because the raw talent isn't all that great. But today, based on the park, based on the matchup, and based on the price tags, these guys look better than they normally do. So do the Pirates. 7% chance at top stack, 19% chance at top value, taking on Luke Weaver and the Reds. Now this one is in Pittsburgh. They don't have the benefit of Cincinnati's park. Still a 5.1 run implied total because they have the benefit of facing Luke Weaver. 9% optimal for Cabrian Hayes. 9% optimal for Brian Reynolds. They are the two best options you'll get to from Pittsburgh. These guys are extra special free. Brian Reynolds is 4,500. The next most expensive hitter in the projected lineup for the Pirates is 35, or sorry, $3,700 Cabrian Hayes. This is as cheap as it gets. Tw almost 20% of the time, this is your value stack. Finally, we close it out with the Oakland A's. 11% chance at top stack, 24% chance at top value. They're cheaper than the Pirates, and they're in a slightly better spot because Trevor Williams is going for the Nats, and he's awful. 4.7 run implied total. You're on the road, so you know that you're getting the full nine innings of plate appearances. Seth Brown is a $3,500 MPE. Looks great. Tyler Soderstrom, catch your first base MPE, 2,600. Or you go to Langoliers at 3,100 if you need the catcher. $2,900 for Blade in the two hole. These guys are so cheap and so flexible, it's easy to get to Oakland. Is it fun? No. Are they the best stack? Yes. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my MLB DFS contenders on DraftKings for Sunday, August 13th. There's a FanDuel version of this video around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.